10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. It's Pot Squatch time. Well, hello everybody. As promised, we've got a bit of a uh, chore upkeep video. So, um, on a couple of the plants, obviously we've got some, as you can see, uh, swaying happening where these buds are coming down, okay? So, I'm gonna come through and show you exactly what we're gonna do. For this specific plant here, okay, uh, first step is with our bundling technique, we're actually going to pull this whole bundle back and attach it to here, okay? So I'm gonna do that real quick, and then I'll show you what we're gonna do on the top. So as you can see, even just pulling that back has already done a great repositioning on these, okay? Now, let's show you quickly here um, what I've done. So as you can see here, all I did was come down and through the bundle technique, and I've just tied it off here onto our green post and good to go, okay? So, now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a line from this post here, I'm gonna feed it through there to this post here. So I'm gonna do that and I'll show you real quick that when it's done. All right, my friends. So, we've taken that line and as you can see, I'm hoping, <laughs> we've gone through and it's gone all the way back around these big buds here, okay? And I've just tied it off here, okay? We do have some excess line here now, and what I'm gonna do with that is I'm actually going to, first we're gonna wrap it around like this, and then we're gonna throw this excess over to the other side here. Because you know what? When you got excess stuff, might as well make it work for you. Now let's hop on the other side. All right, so here we are on the other side. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a look here and we're gonna try to see any potential hypothetical collapses of what might go wrong. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna kinda go here on that angle there and we're gonna put up that line there as a new uh, brace just in case some of those ladies start to continue shifting to the left. So we're gonna do that right now. So we've just pulled that excess now, gone to the post there, wrap that around there, and then we'll show you the plant that we just adjusted from the other side. Take a look at that now. All our big beautiful weed titties now are just standing up and sexy. So that's a good thing, okay? What we're doing is we're, we're, we're adjusting because if we don't rush into it, and we start doing these ties over time with daily gardening, okay, we're gonna be able to naturally watch where the plants themselves are gonna to start to shift and their natural angles where the weight on that bud is gonna take them. That's what we're basically working through and doing our, our, our maintenance on right now. Uh, so let's show you here, for example, one, we got some branches here, so we're gonna do a lower line here and we're gonna go through here and do that. But first, let's address this end here. What can we do? Well, let's take a look here. So this branch here, this branch is kinda coming down as well. But if we look, even just pushing this branch up here and here, what we're gonna be able to do is have some great benefit for those buds. We're gonna pull this one up there so what we're gonna do is probably on this level here, we're gonna take a line through and just put another little line there and that's gonna go to the little post over here, you'll see. So I'm gonna do that and then I'll show you So before. All right, so we've come and we've taken that one. We started it over here, here, right? We did our line through there to that post and then to that post. but. As we can see, these ladies still need a little bit of help there. So what we're going to do now is we're just going to put one more little top line through. So we've started here, then we went to here, and then we've gone over here to this one. Now, we're going to need sort of a top perch on a few of our posts along the side here. So I've left a bunch of length in, so I'm going to do those now. Maybe I'll do this one as a fun little hyperlapse. 
Time to shit, strap the shit. Time to shit, strap the shit. Yeah. So, we've gone here, we've wrapped around, we started back there, we've got our line. Then we've taken that line, we've wrapped it through these branches here to the top of this post, okay? Now, we've come around here to the top of this post. We've gone over here, over here, over here, and then we've gone back this way into here, into there, and then back around to here. Now, based off what we're seeing over on this side, um, maybe a line on these ones, kind of on the, on the lower level here would be good, but we don't quite need that one this second. Right now, what we're trying to do is adjust and interact with the ones that need the most help in terms of holding themselves up. So, for example, on this one here, I might pull a line through here and I'm going to go around and wrap it around some of these branches here and then tie it to there. So, I think I'm going to do that. All right, everybody. So, what we've done here, as we said, is we went from the post back there, we've run our line through here along the sides of our buds, and then we've run that one actually, I've decided to run that back and through to here. So this bud's here like that, you see what I'm saying? And we've got that tied up now. By the way, man, some of these titties looking good. Now, you said the back here, is another area that we need to really address we did this part here looking much better now but we've got all these side branches and shit so what we're going to do i'm just going to run a lower long line here through here a little bit do that right now all right so all side branches now boom we've woven that all together and come through we're looking good so far now where we're at in terms of these plants is we don't see any necessarily huge issues currently, okay? But what we're going to do now is we're going to look at the natural leaning that we're seeing on branches. And we're going to make some decisions to put down some preemptive lines on shit. You know what I'm saying? Bud Light. Oh yeah. Oh my god, you're so sticky. Oh my god. Oh, my arms. Oh, okay, watch out for the buds. Watch out for the weed that he's got to get in there. Get that across there. Tie that there. Play with that. Fuck you, sticky. God damn it, bitch. Oh my god. Yeah, it's gonna be good. Gonna get some big titties. All right, everybody. I've actually noticed one adjustment we're gonna do as well. Very similar to what we did on the plant over here. If you look at this plant here, she's kind of slugging down a bit. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to attach at the bottom here and reposition her just up a bit like that, okay? So we're going to do that and do it to the back bar there. All right, so as you can see, we've just gone around here and attached that to that pole, thus repositioning the whole plant there quite nicely. Again, you don't have to do this all in one day. It's actually best to slowly kind of build this as you go. Um, and then you can let the actual plants themselves dictate to you what you're going to need to do. You know what I'm saying? Um, at the end of the day, though, it's, it's kind of fun, right? Some people are like, oh, well, if you did a scrog net, you just fucking let the plant grow and this, that. Well, yes, true. I'm not claiming this is less labor intensive. However, it is vastly superior because we are building this and we can take it apart and we can adjust and we can get in there. We can work on our plants. We can do whatever we want rather than just having this giant scrog neck going on and then that's going to make it especially with these tall legged ladies quite hard to deal with you know what i'm saying now a few more tweaks here we could do but we'll wait a couple of days and let some of the uh the heaviness dictate that to us okay well let's think here actually pre pre preemptively we could probably actually to a line in a few places. But again, yeah, no, it's not too bad actually. So we're not worried currently. We're gonna wait to see what they do. Uh, but we're gonna go down there to the other end there under the rack experiment, or the racks experiment, and we're gonna do some stuff there. So basically for what I like to affectionately call the big lady shrubbery, we're gonna do one 
uh, a line around the whole thing around the top, okay? And then we're going to do another side line that comes through just for some of these side branches, okay? So we're going to do that right now. All right, so for these ladies here, I mean, to be fair, they don't really need it too, too much yet. But we're going to go through and we'll do a little hyperlapse for you. Just doing sort of some preemptive stuff here on the ladies. Okay, so I only did a little bit here. So what I've done is I've repositioned the two plants that were most at risk. So I've got wrapped around, done some lines on this girl here. And I've come through and just created a little topper on this lady here. Yes, we can come through and do side lines as well and do all of that. But at the end of the day, I feel this video is long enough and we've shown you basically what we're doing. We've got more work to do. We've got more defoliation to do. We got lots of stuff to do. But this is a how-to video. How the hell do you hold up your plants? What are some good tricks? Well, this is a very valid technique. It's kind of an updated version of a lot of stuff I used to do. I used to do a single stake or two and then tie lines out. That was more labor intensive. Doing this way is kind of the easiest, most straightforward way to do things. Starting to work our way through, uh, waiting till about five weeks when we're starting to see those saggings, trying to see those shifts, and then we're able to then make lines that make sense across our canopy just to kind of keep those ladies up sexy and producing. Because when we take their attention off of being, like if they feel secure and they're not trying to have to work to hold themselves up, they put more work into producing flour, thus equaling greater weight, okay? That's why we do this. But anyway, everybody, thank you for watching the video. I hope it's been helpful, uh, you know. We definitely got a good start on it. Daily gardening, it's a war of attrition. But we'll get in there, we'll make it sexy. And this is why we work on our titties and why we work hard and love them. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, everybody, thank you for tuning in to Pot Squatch Growers. Thank you for everyone who supports us, likes and subscribes. They're very appreciated. Uh, for everybody who's joined our little membership program to help us try to keep the lights on, thank you so much. Also, to check out our FDA-approved CBD line available now across USA. Uh, find the link to that in the description of this video. You wanna grow like Squatch? You want some nice big weed titties like these? Well, check out Squatch Lighting Systems. That's right, we got our own lighting brand, ladies and gentlemen, and it's some of the most affordable, professional, great tech around with customer service, second to none, all right? All right, check it out, baby. Find the link to that in the description of this video. Uh, sadly, we had our payment portal with Pinwheel, the porno people uh, denied, so fuck you, Pinwheel, suck a dick. Uh, it, they question the amount of capital that we have and this or that. So really they didn't care about anything about the company. They're just like, oh, you're not rich enough to work with us. So you know what, moving on, uh, we're, gonna, we're gonna find another payment portal that's gonna suit our little company's needs. So anyway, I'm hoping to have that all up and running for everyone for Christmas and to get that sale going on all the swag. But so that'll all be on potsquatchgrowers.com once I get that figured out. That's on my agenda for tomorrow. So anyway, everybody, much love. Keep it sexy. Uncle Potsquatch loves you. So do we titties. Hey, oh. Thanks for watching, everybody. Check out the Potsquatch Growers community on Facebook. Please answer the questions. Peace out, motherfuckers. Yeah.